Hi, I'm Karim Rahamtola. Welcome to Trade Talk Tuesday. Before we get any further, click the like button below and subscribe so we can come to you regularly. Now on to today's episode. Dog days of summer? Maybe not, because you know who's busy right now? The insiders are busy. Who are the insiders? These are people who have knowledge of what's going on at the company way before we'll ever know. They know about deals coming down the pipeline. They know what the earnings going to look like. They know everything. So when they start buying their own stock, it pays to pay attention. And that's what exactly what's happening right now. So even though the market's you know, going up and down, going all over the place, that's not telling you the full story because over the last couple of weeks, because we're in the heart of earnings season, a lot of insider buying has been going on. So insiders buy when they think something good is going to happen in the future. They sell for whatever reason, you know, buy a car, estate planning, whatever. But insider buying, specifically cluster buying, when you have one or more insiders buying, it's usually a tip off that something good is coming down the line. So what I want to do is just share three companies with you right now that I'm looking at because they meet the certain criteria for cluster buying, insider buying, pretty significant buying. The first one this one's going to add some calories to your diet. It's Krispy Kreme, just came public. Symbol is D-N-U-T. Insiders are buying that stock. Uh, I would say a couple hundred thousand shares for one insider and a few thousand shares for another. So that's pretty significant buying. Second company is a company called SoFi. So SoFi is a company that wants to be everything finance, mainly to millennials and also other people. You know, They want to do lending. They want to do student loans. They want to uh do your banking for you they want to do everything on their technology platform so sofi has seen a little bit of insider buying by the ceo he's bought stock three times in the last uh, two weeks so he's picked it up around 14 bucks a share which is pretty much where it's trading at right now actually it's trading a little bit higher than that right now but that's where he bought so you might want to let it come back down and try to buy it at his prices finally it's a company called B. Riley, symbol is um, R-I-L-Y. So B. Riley is an investment bank, and it's, a bro it's not a brokerage firm. They, you know, they lend money, so business development, but they also cover different companies. Their earnings are coming in just amazingly high. It's like seven or eight bucks a share this year, and the stock's trading at around 60 bucks. They've raised their dividend massively, and wouldn't you know, insiders are buying. And these guys, I've been following B. Riley since it was like, 15 bucks. And that's when I first talked about it in the war room, which is where we give you real time information. Stock went from 15. Now it's all the way up to 60, uh, 63, 64. And the insider has been buying all the way since 15, 20, 30, 40, 60, 65, even some buys at 70. But the most recent buys are some pretty significant buys by Brian Riley, who's the CEO, the founder of B. Riley, get to B. Riley. He just plunked down millions of dollars to buy his own stock. So that's another one I'm looking at right now. So for information like this, but in real time, you can get into the war room or sign up below and you can get our free uh, daily e-letter, trade of the day, where we also talk about insider buying and cluster buying so you can be on the same page as insiders. For Trade Talk Tuesday, I'm Karim Rahamtullah. See you next time.